Hello, good morning, and welcome back to another edition of the Good, the Bad, the Ugly, the Judicial Review Show, brought to you by the Department in Health Vapors. Now, the one I want to have a look today, this is one that I managed to get, catch hold of at uh, Vapor Expo in October. Yes, it's taken me that long to get to this. Um, is the King of Vapes, Pineapple and Lime Soda. Now, I have to state for the record, any views or opinions you hear during this review are mine and mine alone. I've not been paid to do this review. I did not pay for the product. It was... I basically caught it at Vapor Expo. I've also got to state individual taste setups and of course power levels will alter what you get from a juice. I'll only personally tell you what I'm getting myself. My weapon of choice today will be the Geek Vape Blade and that has got the AIM-09 Evo Dripper from Asvape dual core to 0.26. I'll start off by going through labels and stuff like that. And then we'll crack on with the main review. Um, also after this review um, I have got a little bit of a like... Um, Faking thoughts, um, that's something that's cropped up that I came across last weekend and it's very confusing and slightly worrying so um, I'll get the review done first and then I'll crack on to that. Anyway, label, the label is atrocious, oh, God. here we have the label, I mean I've never tried any Kings of Vape e-liquids before and um, yeah, I mean it doesn't look too bad there but there are various problems with the label. I mean, all right, we've got childproof lid, as it should be. I mean, this is this will come to you as a 50 mil short film, where you can either add 10 mil of 18 milligram nick shot to give you a three, or you can just top it up with VG, and then that will obviously give you a zero, 60 mils a zero. Um, we've got the traditional bits there, as they should be, not self round 18s, and of course the warning diamond. Trying to read on here, because it's kind of a light green on a slightly darker green at the bottom there is nigh on impossible. Um, basic uh, ingredients, VG, PG, pineapple and lime and other flavourings. And then it says nicotine. When you purchase this, there will be no nicotine in it. Nicotine does not have to be on the label. So, strike one there. There's a cock up right there. Nicotine EU. Uh, number. Um, store below. 25 degrees centigrade right now. Then we've got manufactured. In the UK. For lucky cash and carry. That always raises my expectations up. Which, of course, is a Manchester company. Yes, Manchester Juice. Don't get me wrong, not all Manchester Juice has that connotation behind it. But it does instantly make a little alarm bell. If, especially when you look into some of the shops, a lot of the crap ones, the ones that are like pushing it a bit on um, trade description, uh, not trade description, I mean um, trademarks and um, IP infringements, do seem to emulate a lot from Manchester. And of course we've got the batch number and the date. Now a few of you might have noticed a cock up there. The batch number and the date are in the wrong place. That should be the other way round. Nice one guys. But it's just a bit... It's a bit shit. <laughs> Very hard to read. There's too much of the same, similar colour, just in slightly different shades on there, and you can't really read it that well. It's not a great label. Yes, uh, as always, this will come with tampering. I've removed it from here. If your product become, uh, when you get your product, if it comes without a tampering, or it's damaged, or any way, you know what I mean, if it's not there, mind another one. The tampering is there for your peace of mind that no one's tampered with it. <laughs> anyway, what does it vape like? Let's have a go. So I have added a 10 mil, 18 milligram nick shot to this, so this will be a 3 milligram, and it's around about a 70 30 after the nick shot. Right, we're nice and moist. That's a that's crack on. Alright, as always, I was doing this at 3 power levels. I'm going to start off at 3.7. If I don't shoot past it, like I always do. Yeah, we'll start off at 52.4 watts. <coughs> Here we go. Mm. 
Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I don't normally do that so quick, but... Mm. No throw hit, which is good. Claire production is right about what it should be for a 70-30. And then, unfortunately, we get onto the flavour. Um, pineapple is very dominant in this. I'm only getting a hint of lime, but the pineapple is very dominant, and it's a very, very sweet. I mean, it's really sugar. It tastes really artificial sugary. I'm not a fan of over sugary juices. I'm not a fan of over sweetened juices. It's a very sickly sweet pineapple. I think there's an equal bit of cool. There is a bit of cool article going on here as well, trying to get a slight cooling effect as I breathe out. Flavour wise, is it's just a very sugary pineapple. Oh. Kind of tastes like when you've got if you've got, you've got like a squash that you add water to, but you haven't quite added enough water to it, so it's just still over concentrated. That sweetness is really too much. There's a very horrible aftertaste to this. I'll get onto that in a minute. I'm going to go up first. I'm going to go up to four volts. Yeah, we've gone up to 61.2 watts now. Ugh. <laughs> Pineapple's still far too sweet. You are getting the lime in there now. Coolada effect has gone up. You can feel as you breathe in, you may feel you get a cold gush of air going in and, and slightly going out. I'm not quite sure what's gone Well, there's quite a lot that's gone wrong with this. A, there's far too much artificial sweetener in here. That pineapple is well too sweet. With the addition of that lime, which is now coming through, you are kind of left with a slightly soapy taste in the mouth. It feels like you've actually gone into a lush shop and just licked the soap. Ugh. Oh. It does. It just feels like you've just eaten a bar of soap. One of those fruity, fragrant soaps that they make with real bits of fruit in it. Which, no point whatsoever. Oh, I've got 4.2. Yeah, we're up to 67.2 watts. I cannot get rid of the taste of soup from my mouth. Ugh. Oh, the, 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 the soup effect just carries on. I don't know what it is. I think. It's the lime, mix it with the coulada, it does give it a bit of a soapy ending. Actually it's a bit soapy all the way through now. It feels like I was just sworn in front of my mum and she's just washed my mouth out. Ugh. It's definitely the lime that's causing that effect. The coulada has gone woof now. You do get a very big one on the end and a very sticky one on the way out. And you can feel the coolness in the mouth, feel the coolness in the throat. But something about that cool art of mixing with that lime that does give it a ah, yeah. slightly lubed feeling and taste in the mouth. The pineapple and the sweetness is kind of gone now. It is just a very culardery lime now. Nah, that's... Personal opinion, that's crap. Yeah, that is Kings of Vape. Um, I was always interested in trying their stuff. They always have got like, a massive presence down at Expo. I mean, they, they all have quite a decent sized stand. They normally got like a monster truck or something like that, 4x4 or something basically we would say look how much money we've made kind of stand there and <sighs> that shit <laughs> ah well i'm gonna have a blowout and put something decent in this i'll get on to um the second part of this um little video i want to do um
I'm now going to move on to something I know I like. Yes, Bill and Vapors, Bonnie and Clive. I do love this stuff. Still trying to find people, places in the UK that have got Villain Vapors. I know Solvang, um, France, took on the distribution and that was about all we heard. We didn't hear a lot more about it. Why, why is this not more available in the UK? I don't get it. I know there's like billions of bloody... The, the juice market is oversaturated, to be fair. And funny enough, that's what I'm now going to come into in this part too. But why is there so much crap out there when you've got decent products that you can't seem to find anywhere? Anywho, right, um, right about the end of last week, I think I might actually been Saturday week ago, uh, I got a message from a local shop owner, who basically went and said, have you heard about V-Juice? What's going on with V-Juice? And I know it anyway, I think that it's not a company I really use, so I haven't really heard anything. And he said, well, I've just had a rep come in here, asking whether I get any of my supplies. I must thank the twat on the motorbike outside there who's a right bell end and I'm going to shove his bafflers up his arse in a minute. Anyway, back to it. And, he was, and the rep came round and apparently went and said, do you get any of your stock from V-Juice? And I won't say his name, but the shop owner basically said, no, I don't. He went and said, that was good. He went and said, because they've gone into administration. I thought, I hadn't heard anything about that. And apparently you go on company house, and it does say, um, with VG's, what I've done, I don't entirely know what's going on here, but, um, basically, it, from going on company house, yeah, December the 30th is when they should have actually filed their accounts, and they haven't, <laughs> they just have not filed their accounts, December the 30th, they did not file their accounts. Going on to Instagram and Twitter, the last post that VJuice put up was December the 30th which was when those accounts should have been in. Looking a bit more into it, um, I think it's round about, uh, someone did tell, another guy did tell me, um, December the 27th is when the administration happened. But then you start to look through their Facebook page. Facebook page also, there's nothing, December the 30th, there's nothing on their Facebook page after that date. <coughs> and you go onto that and you start to see complaints for people who ordered Round about mid-December, of moaning they've not got their orders. They've ordered the order, they've paid for the order, they've not received the orders. And you know, and you look for a bit more, and you start to see we've telephoned the company and only got the answer machine. We've emailed so many times and got absolutely no response. We've messaged them on Facebook and we've got no response. And and and. There's a few going on down there of people that have ordered from the company and have got absolutely nothing to show for it. Well, basically, they're, they're saying that the company has robbed them. The company has thieved them of their money and is not getting in contact with them. There's no customer support. There's no nothing. They're not getting anything. <coughs> so, personally, do not, at the moment, because this is the other weird thing. If they've gone into administration, I mean, I went online and I went on the VJU site and I could put things, I could still put things in my basket. This was two days ago. I could still put things in my basket and I could still get to the cache where it was my information to obviously make the account to then take the money in. I didn't put my details in. I don't want the company having my details, especially not at the moment. Something's not going right here. Add on top of that, there is a group on Facebook called The Juice Army. And I approached uh, Salam I'm going to give him a quick message on Facebook, and I said, oh, what's going on? There's rumours going around that the company's gone into administration, blah, blah, blah. He went, oh, not that I know of. Oh, you know what Facebook's like. He said, we're still in talks with the company about giveaways and competitions, and about getting stuff to promote them. Oh, that's just, something's not right here. Everything on Company House is basically saying this company has gone bye-bye. So, I mean, from what I can gather, all the directors have quit, apart from one. The company's gone bye byes People are not getting their products. What the fuck is going on? B, geez, anyone from VJuice who's watching this, if you could even message me on Facebook to let me know what's going on, or put a comment here to maybe <coughs> alleviate a lot of the worries that your customers have got, that would be much, much appreciated because something's not right here. If you're an administration, I don't think you can legally sell. If you're in administration, why are you in talks with V-Juice Army 
to supply juice for giveaways and competitions. Something's not adding up here, guys. It really is not. So all I can say to each and every one of you at the moment is don't touch feed juice with a barge pole until this is sorted out because something is really, really not right. If they're taking orders and have absolutely no intention to deliver, really? <laughs> How to make a massive dent in any confidence in the vaping market when we've got a company that may potentially be doing that? We need someone. The v, v Juice have been amazingly quiet about the whole thing. And if they are in talks with Vape Juice Army about supplying stock, maybe they should be supplying stock to the customers that have ordered from them and not received anything. Something is incredibly wrong at the moment. And no one seems to want to come forward and go, well, this is actually what's happening. No one from the company seems to want to talk. So I'd say definitely for the time being, until this gets sorted out, do not go on their website. Do not order anything. Because they're, by the looks of things, there's a high potential chance you won't be getting anything. Either. So on that rather bum note there, I'm at... Uh, brings me to the end of this review and a little bit of news. Um, if you have enjoyed what you've watched today, please remember to like, share, comment, and of course subscribe to the channel. My ugly mug should be appearing round about here. Give it a click, give us a sub. That'd be really much appreciated. So on behalf of myself, Darren Stone, I bid you all a very good day and I hope to see you soon. Take care, people. <laughs>